extremely well, almost 57% from the field, and uh, yep. you get the victory, 84-73. Uh, Jeff, first thing is, uh, we've won six of eight, Adam, and uh, we're playing, like the other night, if that shot misses, everyone's talking about how this winning streak, and I didn't want to lose the energy, so I got into practice, I said, man, we're good. So, like, we were so out of characteristic the other night with 22 turnovers, I didn't even address it. If it was an issue all year, we, we had been one of the better teams in the country taking care of the ball. I watched a lot of UMass Lowell tape this weekend. I knew, obviously, Jihad Thomas is just a hand. I cannot wait till he graduates. <laughs> He's so good. And, uh, you know, I, I really like our, you know, you guys have watched us. I like our makeup. I like where we are right now. And I, I, we got a good feel. You know, one of the things we talked about tonight, the different kind of tweaks you make to the lineup in the second half. You, you've, you've gone big now. But talk about not just playing three front court guys at a time, but how that allows somebody like Atia to get off on a night like tonight. So you do a great job because <laughs> I listen to your broadcast. The, the reality of it is it's like my high school coach used to say, every night's different. Yeah. It's playing cards. Right. To win a hand, you've got to play a different hand in the second half. Right. Ramirez gave us great he run did. there. Absolutely, yep. And Atia gets in foul trouble. I go to a smaller lineup. And we, we just found a way. Every night we're going to have to find a way in this league. But Atia, especially in this league, he's a difference maker. Yeah. To win this league, I said this early on, to beat Albany and Vermont, Atia's got to play 30 minutes. Uh, and a game great. like this, he's got to be a factor. Yeah. You shot the ball extremely well for the free throw line. 15 of 17, 88%. I know that really hurt you in the loss last time. Talk about the free throw shooting tonight, Coach. You know, we, we worked on it for probably 20 minutes the other day. And I didn't yell and scream about it. Yeah. It's like, you know, one of the, you know, those Zen things. Just do it. Don't complain about it. How, now, here's, here's my follow-up, because I want to ask this. With this team in particular, how much are you coaching confidence on a daily basis? We have to believe that we're one of the top two, three teams in this league. Are you playing it right now? Like, like, just like now, Coach. And that's why I didn't go in there and kill them right after the game the other day. And I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I watched the tape. I'm thinking to myself, man, like, if he, if he misses that 25-footer, what are we talking about? Like, right. So I, I told my staff, look, it's over. And in conference play, you have to have amnesia. Yeah. And we have to have amnesia for Saturday. Right. C Coach, great win. Appreciate the time. And then we'll talk to you Saturday. Jeff, I could talk to you two guys all day. <laughs> John great Gallagher. Team. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. After an 84-73 win.